Beeblebrox, the British tech guru. This, in case you're wondering, is one of those Peltier dehumidifiers. And I'd just taken it apart, and it was a right old pain to take apart. I definitely needed my plastic wedges. And once you open it up, you see exactly what it is. There's a little bit of a circuit board that here that we won't particularly bother about because that's not really why I took it apart and you can see here it's just a stand it's just a standard computer fan with a heat sink and a peltier element inside there that doesn't really interest me um, why I took this apart it has a 9 volt power supply 9 volt DC power supply that comes from a 120 volt plug-in well, that is useless to me. Um, what I want to do is to put another power port in here and a buck converter so that I can run it off 14 volts, which is what I get in my microcontroller lab. Uh, whether it will remove enough humidity to make it worthwhile, I do not know. But my lab is solar powered, so it really doesn't matter. Um, it's just going to be a fun experiment. So, yeah, it's a probably a thirty or forty dollar unit that's probably gone well. I mean, if you ignore the plastic, and the plastic's probably fifty cents a pressed plastic, uh, thirty cent computer fan, and a couple of aluminium bits, a little bit of electronics. It's probably a, You'd be lucky if there was three dollars worth of kit in there, but then that's standard for uh, for for bought electronics. But having taken it apart, it was a it was right pain. I had to use um what Cli uh, Big Clive likes to call a spudger, and what I found in Harbour Freight, which was plastic pry bars for um for vehicle trim, and that worked quite well. Uh Anyway, there we go. I'll have to see what I can do with that now.